Hey everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we're going to show you how to add and remove a contact on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Also works on a Pro and a regular iPhone 14. Uh, so there's two ways to get to your address book. They kind of hide it now. Um, the contacts is actually here on the default setting, but look for this. It's supposed to be an address book with little tabs. Uh, if you even remember what those look like, but you can also find it if you go to the phone and then contacts is here. So that's a little bit more obvious maybe. Um, and so this is a brand new phone, so we don't have any contacts in there. So just hit create new contacts. But you can also always, if you do have a bunch listed, you can always look for this plus sign over here. So click on that. And now you can put in the info. So we put in our favorite uh, generic name. And he's from uh, Acme. So the more data you put in, obviously the better, but basically you just need a name and a, either a phone number or contact email. So let's put in a phone number. And uh, you can also put in a country code if you do plus and like whatever, 852 because we're in Hong Kong um, and it's eight digit number. So you can put in multiple phones and you can adjust those labels here. So you can say that's like my home fax, work fax, pager. You can add, actually add a custom one, say like um, boat phone. So if I had a phone on my boat, that could be there. And so now when I hit return, now I have another place here. So it covers most things, but there's definitely some cases. So for example, uh, I know some people who had phone numbers in different countries. So they would have like their China line and their Singapore line. So you could make custom labels for all those. Um, and then email, same thing. So I can put in my like personal email. I don't know why it calls it home. It should be more personal. Um, and then you can also make custom labels here. So there's a couple standard ones, but you can make customs. Um, and then ringtone, this is actually very interesting. You can actually add a custom ringtone. I really like this feature. Um, it means that basically like when that person calls you, they'll have a unique ringtone, which is different than the normal ringtone, the default ringtone for your phone. So what that means is that whenever that person calls you, you can tell even before you pick up like who it is just from the ringtone. So like if it's your wife, you might answer faster or slower, or if it's your boss, you might not answer at all. Um, so you can just pick one, for example. So whenever Joe Blow calls me, it'll play crystals. Uh, and similarly, you can do it for text tone. So that means like if I get a text from Joe Blow, I'll hear popcorn. Um, and so, yeah, so you can kind of do the same standard ones. You can actually go to the tone store and buy ringtones. Uh, you can actually change the vibration tone, which is interesting too, because that means that like, even when it's on silent, you can tell, so as you can hear it. So I would know, oh, Joe Blow is sending me a text or calling me when it's on silent, just from that. So it's kind of cool. It also allows you to turn on emergency bypass, which means even if it's on silent or uh, like away mode, it'll still ring, uh, which is maybe useful if it's like your babysitter or something like that. So anyway, that's the ringtone options. And text tone, you can also add other like contact info, like their website URL, their home address, their birthday, dates, etc. And then obviously notes. So you can sort of fill in all kinds of stuff here. This actually isn't all of the possible fields. They put even more in here under add field. And so there's a bunch of other things in here like pronunciation, phonetic things, uh, their maiden name, their suffix, their nickname, job titles, description. So like, I guess you can't add additional ones on top of these, but that's what the notes section is. But if you wanted to make sure that everyone knew that he was like a doctor or a, uh, a junior or whatever, you could put in those fields for those particular people. And so what, what that ends up doing, let's say um, suffix. So now it comes in here and I can type it in. So now it's Joe Blow Jr. So the last thing is the picture. So if you click on here, I can actually set uh, icon I can set a Momoji. And so this is basically just his initials with color. I can pick a photo. I can take a photo of Joe Blow standing right in front of me, filling it out. Um, and yeah, I guess I can draw a picture. What is that? Oh, I can type in a new letter if I don't want to keep that letter. Um, and then I can add some of these presets, whatever, he's a piece of pizza. Uh, but the photos is the most interesting thing. So I've never taken a photo on this camera before because it's brand new. So let's take a photo of my hand and now what happens i guess i can move it 
And now what happens is I can set a filter too. But now whenever Joe Blow calls me, that icon, whatever the picture is, hopefully it's better than that picture, will show up. So anyway, that's the uh, very detailed look into adding a contact. And once it's done now, this is how it shows up in the address book. So I can see Joe Blow Jr. here. Um, and all my notes appear here. And if I just want to edit the notes, it goes there. If I want to set the ringtone, it basically goes into there without having to edit. Um, and then I can send a message, et cetera, directly to them. I can set them to block. So it's a little bit annoying. You have to basically add them in order to block them. Um, and then I can add them as an emergency contact. And I can also do these shortcuts here to send them a mail or do a video call if they have it. Um, and so the last thing is what if I want to get rid of it? So there's actually more than one way of doing that. Now, if I go back up to the list and I click on the name and hold it, it'll pop up a menu, which includes a bunch of options like shortcuts for sending messages, copy paste, etc., And then also delete contact. So that's one of the ways to delete a contact. I'm not going to do it yet. You can also go into the contact, do edit, and then go all the way to the bottom. And now that it's saved, it gives me an extra option to delete contacts. Uh, one other thing is now link contacts is here. That wasn't there when I originally created it. I guess maybe because I only had one contact, but this is a way to link two contacts. Like, so I don't know, husband and wife, uh, parents and kids, things like that. Um, you know, colleagues in the company, you can put them under a kind of a group. So anyway, that's the way to add and then two ways to delete a contact on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Hopefully that wasn't too detailed. See you guys next time. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today I have a deep purple iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to insert and remove a physical SIM. So before we start...